Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and in today's video we are looking at the most unique pair of headphones I've ever looked at here on the channel. This is the Oladance Wearable Stereo, so let's take a look. So a little bit of housekeeping, the Oladance come in around $180 and are available in four different colorways. You have Space Silver, Martian Orange, Cloud White, and the version that I have here, Interstellar Blue. Now Oladance have sent these over for the purpose of review, however everything in this video is my own thoughts and opinions, but of course they will be linked in that description down below. Now the full product name is the Oladance Wearable Stereo, so for the rest of the video I'm just going to be calling them the OWS, just to keep it nice and simple. So let's start off with the design and of course we have to get into the unboxing and it really reminds me of one of the older style of iPhone unboxings and what I mean by that is it's a very thick very premium material and just in general it feels like a very premium product maybe a little bit more than the $180 would suggest so you've got all of the paperwork that you need along with a quick start guide USB-C cable for charging and then the case along with the OWS now the case itself is made of a really nice soft touch material you've got the USB-C connector on the back LED for charging and pairing and a Oladance logo on top However, as nice as the case is, it is a massive fingerprint magnet. Now, I mean that just in terms of how many fingerprints it gets, and massive because the actual case itself, as you can see, is huge. Now, the inside of the case without the OWS inside, again, has that nice soft touch material, and the molding itself is very precise. It actually looks kind of cool, and then you can see the connectors there for actually charging the OWS themselves. Now, though, onto the design of the headphone part of this product. The OWS are really high quality with the same soft touch material as on the case and you've got glossy parts for the important areas such as the touchpad and also we've got all the microphone array side of things as well so just in general they look and feel extremely nice. You have a subtle Oladance logo on the side with a ton of mics and speakers all around. And then the inside area has the charging side of things and of course the speaker side of things as well. Now due to the materials and also the fit of the OWS, these are some of the if not the best fitting headphones I've ever tried. Not only that, but as you can see here they are super easy to put on. All you need to do is just hook it around your ear and you're pretty much set and ready to go. And even with a lot of movement they don't go anywhere. And that's going to be great for certain things like using them at the gym, working out, going for a run, whatever Whatever it may be, if you're doing anything in terms of a lot of movement, these headphones are going to work extremely well. Now also going along with the workout side of things, they are also IPX4 water and sweat resistant. So again, if you're using them for a heavy workout or if you're going for a walk out in the rain, you're not going to have any problems at all. Now the majority of wireless earbuds have a 5mm driver. Now what that means is the actual speaker part that goes in your ear is only going to be 5mm in diameter. So that's going to be pretty much the same for AirPods, anything from Samsung, even the Nothing Ear Ones are going to have a 5mm driver, which if you measure it out is extremely small. But then again, they do have to fit directly into your ear canal so it's kind of understandable. However, the OWS come with a 16.5 millimeter driver. So with the part that offers sound being around three times bigger than what you're going to find on a normal pair of wireless earbuds, what's the sound experience and just in general the overall experience like with the OWS? Now don't get me wrong, they're not going to be as good as what you're going to find with over-ear headphones with noise cancellation or even some in-ear headphones that do have some really nice seals to them or even noise cancellation as well, but for what they are, they sound absolutely incredible. And it's also a kind of strange feeling because the music side of things is pretty much as loud, if not slightly louder, than the outside environment because again you don't have anything directly in your ear the actual music part connects here to your temple and also just behind your ear to basically act kind of like bone conducting headphones but it has a speaker so it goes directly into your ear without having to actually put anything in there now if you are used to a specific song or genre of music with over ear or in-ear headphones then you may actually feel a little bit differently about the OWS because again the way they're designed the fact they don't go directly in the ear the songs themselves do sound kind of different you may miss out on maybe a very very minute thing that you may hear with a more premium pair of headphones but just in general the overall listening experience was kind of like if you're listening to laptop speakers for example or something external so yeah not really too bad. Now I do think though for the right person in the right scenario these headphones are great. If for example you go for a walk a lot or you want to use them on your commute while also being able to hear maybe a bus stop or a train stop that's coming up or you're using them to work from home and you do need to hear the environment around you for example if you've got children while you're working at home or you just want to hear that outside sound then you can't go wrong with the OWS. 
It's also quite nice to listen to music without the pressure of some over ear headphones that they put on your ears and also not to have anything deep in your ear for long listening sessions. Even the most comfortable wireless over ear headphones that I've used can get uncomfortable after a certain period of time. And that could be for a number of things. It could be the pressure that the active noise cancellation puts on the actual eardrum itself, or just in general, the fit of the headphones over the top of your head and over the ears. Again, you do kind of get that pressure feeling every now and then, which you just don't get with the OWS. So overall, the OWS sound pretty good. Now they can be a little bit bass heavy from time to time, but we'll get onto how to fix that in just a moment. And also using it for different music genres, whether it's podcasts, acoustic music, or something really heavy, then these do a really good job in general. And also the Bluetooth lag that you do get between wireless earbuds and your device was pretty much non-existent on my S22 Plus. Now going back to the OWS being extremely comfortable, that is a good thing because they do offer 16 hours of continuous playback on a full charge. And you've got around 90 hours when you take into account the carrying case. Now the case itself is quite big and not for everybody, it definitely doesn't fit inside that little change pocket on your jeans. But okay, yes, it's kind of big, but you get a ton of battery life from it. If you're using these for around a week or even two weeks, putting them in and out of the case and just using the earbuds, you may not really notice that you haven't charged them for a longer period of time compared to maybe a smaller pair of wireless earbuds. Now the charging speed could be a little bit better going from 0 to 100% in around an hour and 45 to two hours. Now you do also have the Oladance app, which is nice, but offers no more than other options out there. If you need to change the EQ, touch controls, or check batch life, then the app has you covered, but that's pretty much about it. And when you actually go in to change the EQ settings, there's no sort of built-in presets, which is a little bit of a disappointment. And I'm not 100% sure in regards to what every single frequency does. So for me, when I was going through and changing it and tailoring the sound to me, I just had to kind of move them around and find something that I like the sound of. But that's gonna do it guys on the Oladance wearable stereo. Now it is of course gonna be linked in that description down below. And let me know if you enjoyed this video by leaving a thumbs up down below as well. Also in the comments section, if you do want to let me know exactly what headphones you're using currently, or if there's any coming up that you like the look of, let me know in the comments section down below or on Twitter at copper versus glass. If you're not already subscribed, now's a great time to do so. And once you hit that subscribe button, don't forget to turn on notifications so you're notified anytime I post a video here on the channel. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. Thanks very much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.